Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be testing out a bunch of e.l.f. cosmetics products. Now I do have an almost full face. There are just a few products that are missing such as an eyeliner, kajal, contour, bronzer. So those items, I'm going to see if I can make things work. Now all the products that I have used today will be listed down in the description box below. You can check it out. And if you have not already, then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to me so notified whenever I upload. And now let's jump right into the video. Okay, so I have zoomed you guys in, and I am blotting my face to remove the excess oil off of it because I have super oily skin. And um, yeah, I already have so much oil uh, off of my skin before even I can start my makeup. Okay, so first off, I'm going to use is the lip balm. I have two of them, which is the Right or Die lip balm. And uh, I have Tough Cookie and Boss Berry. And I like Boss Berry a lot more because it smells delicious. Next up we have is the primer. Now I do have the Poreless Putty Primer in Universal and in the matte one as well. Now I have used before the Universal one so it has been used quite a bit but today I'm going to be using the matte one because I have not tried it at all ever. So yeah. So yeah this is how it looks like. It looks a bit more whitish. Just gonna take it Now for foundation, I have two of them, which is the Flawless Finish Foundation, which is in the shade Linen, which is a medium with a golden undertone. And the other one is the Camo CC Cream, and this is in the shade Medium 330W. Now I have not used either of them, and I really hope the shade kind of matches. But uh, today we are going to be using the Camo CC Cream. Now this is a dupe of the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, which I heard great things about. I've not used it. It's not available in India, but... Yeah, today we're going to use this one. So I have taken this much and then we'll see how it goes. It could be a bit lighter for me, but we'll see. I am using their sponge, which I like. Whenever there's a sale, the first thing I buy is makeup sponges. <laughs> uh, the Elf one is a good one. The match is not that bad and it is quite skin like so I like that. Now for this set I'm gonna go with a brush. Just gonna go a wee bit more with the product. For the first impression with the brush, it does give a bit more coverage obviously because it's a brush and it's not a wet sponge which kind of absorbs the product a little bit but I do love how glowy it looks. It's nice. It's very light as well. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin and so far so good. For concealer, I do have is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. Now this is in the shade Medium Sand. Uh, I also own the Camo Concealer. I cannot find it anywhere. So we are just going to use this one. And I hope it's not too light for my skin. So I have not used these before. So it's almost like a first impression. Now again, I'm going to go over with the sponge. It is early in the morning. I have reduced the brightness of my camera a little bit, so I hope this is helpful. Now for the loose powder, I'm gonna go with the Halo Glow Setting Powder. Now I have heard great things about this one as well. And uh, again, this is a first impression. I'm gonna just tap it in the cap. This is what I would normally do. Oh, uh, I'm gonna take this puff thing and just quickly set it. And whatever is remaining, I'm just gonna go over on my skin. 
okay so i'm gonna let this bake and uh, now moving on to the eyes for eyebrows i have the ultra precise uh brow pencil now this is in the shade neutral brown so this is quite identical to the anastasia beverly hills one and uh, just going to quickly use a spoolie side okay not that bad take the spoolie and i'm just gonna quickly comb it through i actually like this one it is quite similar to the anastasia beverly hills one but that one is much more creamier and i like this one the reason is because i have super oily skin so the creamier the more shiny it gets throughout the day which i don't like so this is pretty good now for the eyeshadows i do have five of them my personal favorite is actually the newer launch which is the hot jalapeno one as well as the acai one uh, these two are my most favorite but today i'm going to be using the others uh, i am going to be doing like other videos using those shadows but today i'm not so sure which one to try so the other three that i have is carnival candy berry bad and pumpkin pie so for today i'm gonna go with uh, pumpkin pie this is how it looks like so first i'm gonna go with this warm brown right here on a fluffy brush Now I'm going to go with a smaller dense brush and go with this dark brown shade which is more like a cool tone dark brown and add that on my outer edge of my eyes. I may add a bit more of the darker shade later but right now I'm going to use the shimmer shade. Now these are the two shimmer shade. I think I'll go with this orangey one rather than the bronze one. So I'm just taking a nice clean brush. It's not wet or anything. I have not added any concealer on my eyelids. I just want to see how good the pigmentation is. So I'm just going to go over generously on my brush. This is such a pretty shade. I'm going to go with the dark brown shade again just to deepen up the outer corner. I have one more product for the eyeshadow and that is the glitters. And now I have it in the shade Flirty Birdie as well as 24 karat gold. Uh, today I think I'm going to use the 24 karat gold because it's much more similar to the coppery eyeshadow that I already have on. So it is a bit liquidy so I'm gonna let this dry. In the meantime I'll finish the rest of my eye makeup and I'll be right back. Okay so I finished the eyeliner, uh, mascara and false lashes. I'm just gonna quickly take off the powder that has been baking for a very long time. Now for the blush I do have their bite size face duo. Now I have the shades spiced apple, pomegranate and lychee. Uh, but I'm gonna go with the putty blush. Uh, they do have like only one shade that is currently available on Nykaa like there are two other shades But it has been out of stock for the longest time. I don't think it is Available to buy but this is the only one that was available So I bought it and this is the one in the shade Caribbean. Oh, I love a brand new makeup product It's so satisfying. So this is a bit of a darker shade and it will be beautiful on dusky Skin because it is quite bright. I'm just gonna go with one boop and a boop. Now I do have some leftovers, so if I feel like I need a bit more, then I will add it. Oh, it blended pretty nice. These are quite buildable and blendable as well. You can add a bit more, but I'm just going to stop right here, which is fine. <laughs> 
Now for the highlighter part of this face duo, all three kind of look identical. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the pomegranate one. The blush is actually a very nice color. The others seem a bit light. Uh, now today I'm just gonna go is with the highlighter. I'm gonna take a nice fan brush like this. So for bronzer and contour, I do not have any particular product from e.l.f. I am actually looking forward for their party bronzer. But right now for today's video, I'm just going to use their eyeshadow palette for nose contour and I'm going to use the same eyeshadow palette which is pumpkin pie and uh, hope that this cool tone brown shade works as a contour. I'm going to take a very defined brush like this one. This is what I usually use for nose contour. Okay, it's a powder product so I'm sure it will blend but it looks crazy right now. I'm gonna go with another brush. Got like a mini heart attack for a second there. So I noticed they don't have any particular like kajal as such. I'm just gonna use my usual one which is the colossal Maybelline one. So I'm going to go back to the same eyeshadow palette pumpkin pie and go with this warm brown shade uh, for my lower lash line. Now next up I'm going to be using their no budge eyeshadow stick now this is in the shade perfect pearl now this is like a one and done sort of an eyeshadow and it is a very beautiful nice white pearly sort of glittery shade and I like this especially on the inner corner of my eyelids that's what I'm going to do right now and I'm going to use the same one as a nose highlighter as well oh I forgot to mention that this is a retractable one so I kind of like this now for lipstick unfortunately I cannot find the lip lacquers that I do own and I do have uh, I could only find one of them which is the shade Bubbles. It's a nice white glittery sort of a lip lacquer but for a little pop of color I am going to use their putty blush. It's a very pretty shade as a lipstick. It's a nice shade like it has a lot of blue sort of glittery particles in it so it gives a very nice shine. So I have zoomed you guys in a bit more and uh, everything looks nice so far so good. I do have to film another video so if I do have any thoughts or anything else to add on to I'll probably mention that. Oh I'll also add on how it looks on my phone camera as well. Hello, so it has been about five and a half to six hours since I last applied the foundation and this is how everything looks like. Now I do feel the matte putty primer helped a lot when it comes to making my face look a little less oily and also in minimizing the pores. So I like that. And also I had to go over the foundation a little bit around my lip area because I was doing a lip swatch video and I had to reapply the putty blush. Uh, back again I skipped on the gloss but everything still looks pretty good I'm really happy with the outcome and all the products that I have used in today's video so overall I am happy with the products that I've used today but then I do wish that elf cosmetics come out with more products in India uh, especially the products such as the halo filter glow product uh, I'll put the picture over here and even the power grip uh, primer I do see it on Nykaa but it is not for sale like it's not at all available for a very very long time uh, and their putty bronzer I wish they come out soon as well and even their clear brow gel which is like a dupe of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze. So let me know if you guys like today's video because I can do a part 2 version of it as well because there are a lot more products that I've not used in today's video which I can use for the next one. So yeah comment down below and let me know. So guys, this finally wraps today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it certified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try and for you as well as follow me on my socials, which is Ishanayar on Instagram and Ishanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.